So, let's, I gotta do some erasing and we'll fill in the blanks. Okay, so let's try this. Um, Q of solid and Q of liquid. Let's just do one at a time. Okay, Q of solid equals the mass, which in this case was 15 grams. Your problem might be different. 15 grams. The heat capacity for the solid is right here. Okay, which was given in the problem. Make sure I'm doing the solid right now. 24.3 and it's for joules it? per mole. Huh? Um, you said heat capacity. Is that the same as specific heat? Aren't specific heat. Sorry, I should have said specific okay. heat. You're right. Okay. And then there's a temperature change. So the T initial is minus 50. The T final, that is, the solid warms up to the melting point. So the T final is the minus 38, I had it written down earlier. Is it 38.87? Okay. Okay, that's that. There's one problem though, one more thing I need to do. Let me make sure I got my units right here. Yeah, one thing that's a little off here. What's that? Yeah, this is in grams, and this is in moles. So okay, so I need the molar mass of mercury. It is two hundred point five nine. Uh, there you go. That's just the first one. Now the next one, Q for the liquid, 15 grams, the only thing that's really, two things will change, one is the specific heat, oh yeah, you have a question? I have a question, the specific heat is 27.3 joules per mole per Kelvin, right, on the, the specific heat of the cube solid, 24.3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, does your temperature have to be in Kelvin too since it's per yeah, Kelvin? That's what I'm Oh, does this have to be in Calvin? That's a great question. Does anybody know? Yeah, Tom. It doesn't matter as long as you're getting the difference. Yeah, it does not matter. You can put it in Calvin, it'll be the same thing. So if it's addition or subtraction, it's irrelevant. And this is subtraction. Even though the specific key is per Kelvin? It's irrelevant, yes. So when you're doing subtraction, it doesn't matter. If you're ever unsure, you can always put it in Kelvin. You'll never be wrong. So if you always put temperature units in Kelvin, you won't be wrong, okay? So feel free to do that anytime. If you want to remember that if it's addition or subtraction, it doesn't matter, then you can do that too. It does matter when it's multiplication or division, okay? All right, so uh, that, oh, now I'm doing the liquid, so I take notice the other heat capacity, the 28.0 joules per mole Kelvin. So that's different, and the temperature change will also be different. So uh, I'm going to take a temperature change that goes from the melting point, minus 38.87, that's the initial, what's the final? 25, all the way up to the boiling point. And then I still have the molar mass conversion. That's cube liquid, that's the second one. The next two will be a little faster, slightly. Erase this. The Q of melting. I should, I uh, think I erased it, unfortunately. Let me see if I can find it. But I need that delta H of fusion. Is it 2.33? Yes. Okay. So this is going to be my formula for this, and you'll see this on my handouts, is N delta H. Okay, so whenever you have an enthalpy, 
there's no temperature change now. So you use the other formula for Q, N delta H, not MCP delta T. So now you need the moles. Again, the 15 grams times the change in the mole mass, 200.59 grams per mole. So there's the moles, and delta H is the uh, 2.33, but that's in what units? It's in kilojoules per mole. We don't want kilojoules, we want it in joules. So I'm going to put 2,330 joules per mole. There's the Q melting. So again, I, I change this to joules. Whenever you have a delta H, almost always they'll give it in kilojoules. You have to multiply by 1,000 to get it in joules. The same for the Q boiling. Equals, it's again an N delta H. I know it's N delta H because there's no temperature change when you boil. Or in the other case, when you melt, there's no temperature change. So in this case, again, 15 times, or really divided by the 200.59 grams per mole times, now I need the Q of boiling. What was that one? Is that 61.32? Yeah. I believe it's that one. That, that again is in kilojoules, so it's 61.320 joules per mole. I multiply by 1,000 <coughs> and turn it into joules. Those four, add them up. That's your answer. Okay. The negative symbol at heat's going into the system. Okay, which is what that symbolizes. Any questions? It's a little bit of a painful one just because there's a lot of cues. But this is a not an unusual exam question. Okay, I would put this at medium difficult type of exam question. Sometimes it could have a reaction instead of a phase change, but the same sort of idea.